I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Going to be doing something a little different today. I don't often make picture frames, and this one's going to be a doozy. No, it's not the size. It's the idea of having nine of these in one frame. Now, I don't know how it's going to work out. This is, like everything else, an experimental process. So we're just going to have to see. But it's going to be a lot of fun. We had them sitting on the wall and I made a sketch using uh, Auto Sketch. Kind of an odd little way of doing it, but it's, it was kind of fun to play with the tablet. I'm going to be building a perimeter frame. It's going to have two cross pieces vertically and two cross pieces horizontally. That'll separate the nine pictures. So now let's get started on cutting some wood. To make sure I got the dimensions right, I'm going to lay them out on the bench here. You always want to oil the equipment before you use it. It lasts a lot longer if you take care of it. First thing I want to do is I want to cut the cross pieces. Now the frame's going to be made out of popper because that was the wood that I thought looked the best and had the straightest grain with the fewest knots. And for a picture frame, I don't want to deal with any knots. Now the picture frames are 10 inches across. And they have canvas on both sides. The three of them added together comes out to 30 inches and then three of these pieces. The cross pieces are going to be 35 and a quarter inches wide. I'm making them out of poplar because Poplar is a nice straight grain wood and I can buy it with no knots for a fairly reasonable price. And if it doesn't twist while it's hanging in the rack in the store, I'm thinking it's probably not going to twist while it's on the wall.
Now the Stanley 358 normally comes with a couple of clamps that would be holding that board in position. But I find that a couple of Irwin quick clamps work pretty good. Two very nicely cut cross pieces. Now that I have the cross pieces done, I can check and make sure I've got the overall dimensions correct. 29 and a half overall. Each picture is eight inches across, top to bottom. I need one, two, three, four, five, six vertical pieces, eight inches long. Now that I've got the pictures laid out, I'm gonna move these off out of the hazardous area. To make sure I've cut them all the same length, I set a stop block on the saw. To make absolutely sure that I have all six boards exactly the same length, I'm going to use the shooting board. This lets me plane the ends so that the ends are perfectly square with each other and I can control the length a lot easier. YouTube has a new feature called end caps. The end caps are a modification of the annotations that only desktop users could see up until now. There's an end cap on this video. Give me an idea what you think. And as always, if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button.